electricity is important to the whole operation of the College World Series from broadcasting to concession power, main factors, the lights on the field at night, you know, keeping the, keeping the field lit. So a month prior to the College World Series, we have um, our Omaha Center. We get together with the um, center manager, the field supervisor. We get together with Steve Fanzoff and he gets together with the City of Omaha. We go through our, our plan of attack. We check all the street lights, we check all the globes down Abbott Drive, we check the interstate lights, the street lights, the banners that College World Series places on the street lights, we coordinate that. Downtown the water table is really high, so typically manholes fill up with water. So we make sure we pump the manholes out and we clean them out because sometimes there's a couple feet of dirt. I like to get them cleaned out before everybody gets moved in out here in this parking lot and can't get in. And if there happens to be a cable fault, it's ready to go. The switch gear that feeds um, the ballpark is called an automatic rollover switch. Um, so basically the ballpark is fed from two different circuits. So if one circuit was to go out automatically, the other circuit would pick up the load so they would the customers would not even see a blip. Um, there's just a lot of coordination work that you know OPBD does with the city and Mecca folks. Oh, that's real important. That scoreboard don't light up. The lights don't work at night. It's like the Super Bowl in San Francisco when the power went out. That was the major, you know, major sporting event. Just like this is. College World Series is big though. If there was an occurrence to happen, crews are nearby, we could still tackle it and get it done. I would say we're ready for anything that they would throw at us. <laughs>